Today we'll be looking at Chemistry 1501, October, November 2017, question 5.3. Let us start. This is the actual question we are having. It's question 5.3. It's based on limiting reagent theoretical yield and the actual mass. Also the percentage yield. Now question 5.3 says sulfur tetrafluoride reacts with water as follows. So we have tetrafluoride and water reacting to form sulfur dioxide and hydrofluoric acid. So the scenario says we have 50.0 grams of each of the two reactants are mixed and allowed to react to completion. Calculate the mass in grams of hydrogen fluoride. So it's the reactants against this product here. Hydrogen fluoride formed if the yield of the reaction is 67.5%. So that is the percentage yield. Now, how do we go about answering this question? There's this equation which is the actual mass or actual yield over theoretical theoretical mass multiply by 100 so how are we going to answer this question we are given this And then we are going to calculate the theoretical yield. This is the one that we are going to calculate. We will be able to calculate this using the molar ratio and the stoichiometric calculations. And then the aim is to get this, the actual mass. After getting the actual mass, it will be the mass of the desired product, which is this one. So the aim is to find the actual mass. Actually, the aim, the aim is to find the theoretical yield or the theoretical mass. We have this, and then we'll be able to solve for this and reverse to find the mass in grams. That is how we are going to answer this question. So let us get to it. So this is the given information. As usual, there is a lesson video on how to calculate the limiting reagent. Now remember, in order for us to calculate the production of this, we need the limiting reagent. So we need to determine between the two reactants which one is the limiting reagent. So it's S, it's tetra, it's tetrafluoride and water. Actually, it's sulfur tetrafluoride. So, as usual, we look at to calculate the number of moles. We have 50.0 divided by one atom of sulfur, and then the molar mass is 32.07. plus four atoms of fluorine and then we have 19.00 then we also have this one it's 50.0 grams we have two atoms of hydrogen 1.00 plus one atom of oxygen we have 16.00 
this will be 0 0.463 mole then this one will be 2.778 mole now we need to continue it's either we can use sulfur tetrafluoride or we can use water to determine the limiting reagent it's not important to calculate both of them because we are not talking about excess reactant in this case we are only looking for the limiting reagent so let us use sulfur tetrafluoride So the molar ratio between sulfur tetrafluoride and water is 1 over 2. Where did we get this 1 and 2? The coefficient of this is 1. The coefficient of this one is 2. From here, If you are getting lost, I advise you to look at the lesson video of how to calculate the limiting reagent. So this is the second number of moles. Now we need to compare this one and this one. This one is greater than this one, therefore it's the limiting reagent now we are going to use this to calculate the maximum production of hydrofluoric acid so the molar ratio is between hydrofluoric acid and which is equals to the molar ratio of hydrofluoric acid we have 4 over 1 from here we go ahead and substitute should do this this is the maximum production of hydrofluoric acid produced now let us quickly convert this to grams this is the theoretical yield we have one atom of hydrogen which is 1.00 plus one atom of fluorine which is 19.00 cross multiplying we have this multiplied by this we are going to get 37.04 grams so from here we can go ahead and 
we use our equation it's the actual over theoretical multiplied by 100 so we are given this we just calculated this we are looking for this now So we have 100 actual divided by 37.04. So what we are going to do, we are going to cross multiply. We have 100 actual, it equals to 67.5, 37.04. Then from there we divide both sides by 100. This will result into 1, 1 multiplied by actual. It's actual mass. And then this will be 25 grams. So this is the final answer that we get. That's it for this lesson video. This is Wahula SJ. Thank you very much.